this is the Heathkit DX35. It preceded the Heathkit DX40. Runs a little bit less power on both the AM and CW. And the meter in it is not one of the meters I would prefer, but it does work, so uh, it does give us an idea of how things operate. Uh, I am receiving on a KX3, and let's see how it functions. So, we'll put it in CW, and there we are. We can just tune. Notice how we can we dip the plate, and the power goes up. It says it's putting out uh, 70 watts, but I think uh, with the light bulb and a mismatch, uh, that's probably not so. That's probably not true. And that's on 80 meters. So let's uh, try it on phone and see how it works. Hello, test. One, two, three, four. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Five, four, three, two, one. Using a D104 microphone in the CW position. And let's peek, let's dip the plate. And there we go. And there we are. I think I've got a little too much plate current. And uh, here we are on 20 meters. Yeah, there's our frequency. I'm doubling the crystal and see how that works. Okay, we need to dip the final. And bring it up. Okay, and there we are. It says we have 70 watts out, but uh, I think the dream. I think the meter is dreaming a little bit. We'll try one more band. How about uh, 15 meters? Uh, I'm out of the band actually, uh, but we are in pretty much of a dummy load. I've tripled the crystal frequency of 7160. So let's see how that works. There we go. We got a little bit of power. Got to dip the final. There we are. And it says we're doing 90 watts, but again, I think we're dreaming, but. That's 15 meters.